Uganda today joined the rest of the world to celebrate the International Day of the Midwife. <laughs> On the theme Midwives, Defenders of Women's Rights, the day is celebrated annually to stand in solidarity with the midwives around the world to thank them for the life-saving work they do. At the national celebrations that took place at Intare School in Barara District, the smile on their faces was inevitable, thanks to government of Uganda that had their cry to increase their pay. According to the Acting Commissioner Health Services, in charge of nurses and midwives, Petua Olobo Kiboko. We want to thank the whole, the, 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 His Excellency, the President of Uganda, through you, Honorable Minister, for the increment of the salaries. That enhancement was done, and we are very grateful. And Honorable Minister, we are saying we are going to try our best to put our hands on the ground, to work and be there for the patients. But we want to be backed up. As government, and most especially, the President of the Republic of this country is so passionate about the work of midwives and nurses. That is why the salary enhancement has really been directed to that effort. And we are grateful to the President. And we expect God to give him long, long life. Dr. Joyce Moriku Kaduchu, Minister of State for Primary Health Care, says after addressing their remuneration, the minister has embarked on a restructuring process countrywide to address the staffing gaps. The Ministry of Health has been restructured so that it can accommodate the enlarging huge number of population. At regional level, the restructure all started with Mbarara Regional Referral Hospital such that we get more room for more people. And this restructuring from Barara is going to be replicated in other regional referral hospitals and thereafter it goes to the district refer facilities. With support from the government of Sweden, since 2010, the United Nations Population Fund has worked with the Ministries of Health and Education to improve midwifery standards, especially in hard to reach areas. 590 midwives have benefited from the midwifery training, bursary and, bond and bonding program. So far, 451 of them, Honorable Minister, have completed the training, of which 306, representing 86, 68%, have been deployed across the country. This has been one of the strategic interventions to address the midwifery deficit, especially in the hard to reach areas of the Karamoja region. The contribution of midwives has seen a tremendous reduction in maternal mortality ratio from 506 deaths to 336 deaths per 100,000 live births between 2001 and 2016. At least 7 out of 10 births are conducted by a skilled provider, usually a midwife. The 2014 midwifery report shows that access to a skilled birth attendance could reduce maternal mortality by over 87%. Now with fresh efforts by the Minister of Health to address the staffing gaps in the underserved districts of Uganda, the country is on the right path to achieve the sustainable development goal number three by 2030. Benadiga reporting for UBC TV in Imbarara district.